Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, given statements in A and B, identify the statements given below as contrapositive or converse of each other. For this, we need to see the form of the contrapositive and converse statement of any given statement of the form if P then Q. The contrapositive of the statement if P then Q, that is P implies Q is not Q implies not P. And the converse of the statement if P then Q, that is P implies Q is if Q then P. Let us now see the first statement. It says if you live in Delhi, then you have winter clothes. Now, the first statement is if you do not have winter clothes, then you do not live in Delhi. Now, the contrapositive form says not Q implies not P. That is, if not Q, then not P. So, the first statement is the contrapositive because it says if you do not have winter clothes, then you do not live in Delhi. So, this is a contrapositive statement. Let us now see the second statement. It says, if you have winter clothes, then you live in Delhi. Now, the converse of the statement, if P then Q, is if Q then P. So, in the given statement, P is you live in Delhi and Q is you have winter clothes. And in this statement, it becomes... If you have winter clothes, then you live in Delhi. So, this is the converse. It says, if Q, then P. Let's now see the B statement. It says, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its diagonals bisect each other. The first statement says, if the diagonals of a quadrilateral do not bisect, then the quadrilateral is not a parallelogram. Now, in the given statement, P is, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram and the statement Q is, the diagonals of the quadrilateral bisect each other. Now, here it says, if the diagonals of the quadrilateral do not bisect, then quadrilateral is not a parallelogram. This is of the form not Q implies not P. That is if not Q then not P which is a contrapositive statement. The second statement is if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other then it is a parallelogram. So here it is of the form if Q then P. So this is the converse of the given statement. And this completes the question. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.